Good morning. It is Saturday, November 7th at uh, a little after 7 a.m. I want to talk about fears today because I have a few and I think they're worthwhile to mention. First off, I love my wife. We've been, we've known each other coming up on 10 years. Uh, we've been dating coming up on nine and a half and uh, married for three this May. So two and a half years married. We live in a little house in San Diego and uh, everything is good. At least it was, it still is. I'm worried, concerned that things will change. And the reason for this is distribution of household labor and tasks. With my injury the way it is right now, I can't walk for more than a few steps without pain and I'm hunched over quite a bit. So I can't shop anymore. I can't cook breakfast for myself. I mean, I can, but I have to do it seated or I have to eat something quick. So now I'm not eating the same foods. I can't go drive and do an errand. I can't do pretty much anything. I can, I'm limited. So that means my wife has to pick up the slack and she works full time and she works hard and her job can be stressful. So this is simply added stress on top of her life. Here comes my cat and she has to do everything else now, all the cooking, the house is a mess. So cleaning sucks because I get really fatigued quickly in my upper right erectors, back muscles all the way up that right side because I'm hunched over and twisted to find a somewhat pain, pain, less painful position on that left side. So that's simply with the wife and there's more, there's physical stuff. You can't be as physical as you'd like. I wake her up in the mornings with my moaning because of my pain. Oh, here comes my cat. Come on. Say hi. You're going to block the whole camera, huh? Yeah, you don't want anybody to see me. You want them to see you, huh? This is Snowflake. Oh, this is going to be one of my tips. Get yourself a pet. It helps having them around. She's been sweet to me lately because she can tell I'm moving a little slower and I'm in pain. She usually likes to fight and play and scratch and bite, but not lately, huh? Because you're not getting the same aggression back, so you're just sweet. So that's some of my concerns with the wife in relationship with her. The second is my job. I work at Invictus Fitness in downtown San Diego for a great man named CJ Martin. And I work with a bunch of excellent colleagues, a bunch of coaches. There's eight of us on staff in downtown San Diego. And then there's about half that on staff at the Sorrento Valley location, which is like 25 minutes north of us here. So through COVID, I spent a decent amount of time working from my computer and I still have been working from my computer for the last week and, week and a quarter that I've been off work. And uh, luckily I have a bunch of people in the gym that I fortunately get to contact and check on and make sure that they're doing okay. 
so I get paid for that, which is great. And I have some sick pay, and we're going on vacation next week, so that was scheduled six months ago, going to Sedona, where I'm going to be probably just hobbling around the hotel and sitting. While my wife and our friends go do stuff, which they should, because she needs a vacation. And I do too, although I'm not going to be able to experience it as completely and fully as I intended when we booked this vacation. So we'll see what happens with this job. I mean, of course, there's questions of whether I'm going to be able to lift things after this and how. Can I continue to be a coach? Probably. I'll just have to demo things with the PVC pipe for a while or not at all. And you read things. So I know the anatomy, I know the physiology, and I understand the injury fairly well. I'm sure after talking to physical therapists, I'll learn it a little better. After talking to an ortho, I don't have any appointment scheduled with the ortho. PT and pain management are on the horizon. I got an email from my doctor yesterday saying that she set me up for PT and pain management. So pain management for men, so I can hopefully take some pain pills, which I was against, uh, but it's been 12 days and I haven't slept more than two hours in a row, twice in one night in the last, you know, almost two weeks now. Right, Snowflake? Yeah. So, Here's about life. Of course, I'm gonna have to change my habits once I heal up, as far as how I train and how I live. Been told by people at work that I train and live hard and fast. And I did for 37 years until this, and now I'm gonna have to slow things down even more. I thought I was slowing things down but I guess not enough, because old habits die hard. And of course, there's fears about myself and how well I will get through this mentally. And this is a longer conversation, but I'll get into it a little bit. So they say staying mentally tough is all mindset related and you can do it in your head completely. It's all you. All you have to do is craft your mind in order to support the thoughts that you want to have, right? It's all under your control. There's plenty of new research that suggests that it's not all under your control because the body plays a significant role and how the mind interprets the world emotionally, socially, physically, everything. So if your body's hurting, obviously it's gonna affect your mind. When you don't train, and those that exercise, you know this, you're exercising for three, four days a week consistently for a couple of years without much of a break here or there. And you take two weeks off. How do you feel? Sometimes depression sinks in. It's not clinical, chemical imbalance, standard depression. It's a blues feeling where you feel like you're just missing something. Maybe lacking motivation, maybe you're feeling like a uh, lack of direction in your life, and then you go and hit one good training session after two weeks, and now you feel better. Boom, you're back on the right track. So, side tangent here. Were you always depressed and masking it with exercise? Or is physical movement essential to the well-being, to the optimal functioning of you? 
I would argue the second, and that's because there is a very large percentage of physical space in our brain is dedicated to human movement. We evolved by moving. We succeeded in competing for millennia using movement. So movement is essential. And when we stop moving, we start to get unhappy. So those are some of my concerns. Once again, this is uh, probably the second longish form post on my YouTube about my injury. Uh, I went to bed at about two and I woke up at about six and I took two rounds of two Tylenol in the middle of the night to try to reduce the pain. And it works the first time, the second time it works a little less, and then it's uh, not too early to take the third round. So once you're up, you're up. You can just keep moving and trying to find a pain-free position. So I'm not going to take any more. This is the last day of the prednisone as well. So once I'm off the prednisone, then I can start to take ibuprofen, which uh, tends to work a little better than Tylenol for me, although I'll probably take both because... I need it. Thanks for listening. I'll update more tomorrow from Sedona, or maybe on the drive today. If you are struggling with this injury or something like it, I wish you well.